What's up, YouTube? We are back again with another video on this channel. And uh, today we got a banger because today we are looking at the tips and tricks to master the legend lifeline. OK, so in Apex Legends, lifeline has always been known as that support character. Today, we're going to give you some tips and tricks to become even better when you're using lifeline out there. So if you're new here and you want to see more videos on your feed like this one, then please make sure to smash the subscribe button and also also, ring that bell so you guys will be notified for all of our future videos on this channel. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into these tips. So we're going to go ahead and break down what it means to be a lifeline or exactly what is lifeline. So lifeline did just receive a buff not too long ago to her kit, and it really wasn't that overwhelming. It was kind of underwhelming to say the least, but it's still, you know, lifeline can still be a valuable asset to a team on Apex Legends. So let's go ahead and break down some of her passive abilities. So when it comes to some of her passive abilities, one of her passive abilities, allows you to revive teammates with a drone which allows lifeline to still be mobile so of course this means that you can still do some cover fire you can you know loot while your teammate is getting res you can reload you can heal up while your teammates getting res it just allows you to do more things than just watch the animation of you resin your teammate now another really cool passive ability that lifeline has is the ability to open up that second drawer when it comes to those blue loot bins all around the map now by opening that second drawer you'll have access to more heals maybe even some sneaky attachments but it allows you to get more loot out of those blue bins so after playing with Lifeline for the last few days, I've actually started enjoying myself when I'm Lifeline. But one of the latest new buffs that Lifeline has that I'm pretty much a big fan of is her tactical, which is that dock heal drone that allows you to heal just by just chilling there. Now they did extend the range for her tactical. I think that this is super cool because you could just throw your drone out there and then restore your shields and your back into the fight so it really wasn't a game changing buff but it was enough to add to her kit that could still make her fun to play with now when it comes to lifelines ultimate lifelines ultimate actually had a few tweaks now the blue beam only shows up after the care package has dropped which kind of helps when it comes to you know not showing everyone around you where you are but um other than that the ultimate gives you some really nice upgrades so it'll be like maybe a gold mag maybe even gold armor some heals like you definitely get some really nice things out of these care packages that lifeline drops when she does her all so this is pretty much just a quick little breakdown because i know a lot of you guys that are coming to this channel you guys are pretty new to apex you guys have been checking out my how to get legends tokens and all that other stuff so this is another little tip and trick guide for you guys so this last thing i just gotta get this out off my chest real quick this last thing and then we're gonna go ahead and get into the tips but if you are using lifeline listen up if you're using lifeline you should be using lifeline mainly as a support legend okay get this lifeline is no good to a player or a team if the lifeline is always going down first in every match it just doesn't make sense if you're always on your hands and knees in the game of apex lifeline should probably not be your main okay that, that that's just plain and simple unless you just want to go and grind and get better then that's something different but you are a ultimate support legend so when you when it comes to healing when it comes to getting your team you know situated with the heals and the health to get back into the fight that's your job so please if you are new to being a lifeline learn how to stay up you know get some aim you know what i'm saying hide take some cover and you'll be lit but let's go ahead and get into these tips. So if you're already watching this and you got this far, let's go ahead and get into these tips. I hope you guys are enjoying the video so far. Smash a like if you are. But um, after these tips, you're probably going to want to smash a like anyway. So go ahead and smash it right now. So we're going to go ahead and get started into this first tip. Now, one thing that I feel that 
all lifelines should be using or maybe even all new lifelines should be using is when you go to revive a teammate you should always try to slide into the revive what this does is that it completely bypasses that yucky super slow healing animation that you'll receive if you just walk up on your teammate and try to revive him that way you really want to practice this slide res just because it'll allow you to continue to have movement so you'll be a harder target to hit and it'll also allow you to you know go ahead and get a head start on where you want to station just because when people hear that res they're coming you need to put down as much cover fire as possible especially if your teammate is getting res because he can't do nothing so the goal is while you're resing a teammate with your drone you want to go not really as far away as possible but you want to make your opponent choose are they either going to continue attacking you or are they going to attack your teammate who is trying to get revived now this is definitely going to help you out because you got to make them choose you know what i'm saying if they choose wrong your teammate might just get up and be right back into the fight so you always want to separate yourself and make your opponent choose now a cool little sneaky tip or trick that i would like to go ahead and tell you guys that are new to being lifeline is that sometimes it's okay when you know you're about to get into a close quarter fight you want to go ahead and drop that heal drone right before you engage and then you can have your fight then and there so if you are about to go into a pk battle in the middle of a hallway you want to drop that drone just in case that other opponent or your enemy gets the best out of you and they take all your shield you're still hooked up to that unlimited health drone okay so you're going to want to stay attached to that drone the drone sometimes even allows you to hide behind the drone because you can't break it you know what i'm saying so sometimes if you need to use the drone for a little bit of cover it's not going to cover your whole body but if you can kind of get lucky with like a couple bullets missing you can come out on top in that gunfight now for you guys that are kind of newer to the game when your lifeline and you need to take cover to heal always throw out your drone and then pop your shields as your drone is giving you your health okay so this will allow you to get shield and health faster quicker and also at the same time i think it's pretty cool because this also allows you to heal way faster than your opponent can because your opponent will have to pop a syringe or a few syringes maybe even a med kit and then they gotta cater to their shield and all that other stuff but you're doing it all at once now another cool thing is lifeline because you know when you're lifeline you have to be super helpful so when it comes to resing a fallen teammate with your drone you also want to drop the health drone right next to your revived teammate or your in the middle of being revived teammate because sometimes you're going to need that teammate to be back on their feet and you're going to need them in battle as soon as possible so it's going to give them a little bit of health as they either try to go and shield swap or try to heal their shields or restore their shield so they can get back right into action now i know that this tip is going to be pretty difficult especially for you guys that are brand new or just starting out on apex but if you are a lifeline you need to do your best to be aware of your teammates health if someone is low please assist them before taking on another fight there's so many times where i'm out here playing with randoms and one of the randoms are lifeline and i haven't seen a health drone for any body but that lifeline they're always using their own health drones not that it's a problem but still if i don't have no med kit but you got a unlimited health drone i should be able to you know get some of that too you feel me so always be mindful of your teammates health situations and i guarantee you it'll help you in the long run because your team will all be healed up and ready for the next fight so this little tip right here is for those that did not know this fact but lifeline drones do not work in the storm or in caustic gas so if you're looking to heal you have to get out of the storm so pop you a um, heat shield or you got to get out of that caustic gas so go run hide pop your shields while you're healing with your drone now i feel that this one could 
possibly be a debate so y'all let me know down below but i honestly feel that lifeline is still the top tier legend for when your team finds a gold backpack if you find a gold backpack and you have a lifeline on your team the gold backpack should be on lifeline 24 7 okay 10 times out of 10 lifeline should have that gold backpack so i know other legends like newcastle might be you know might be a contender for the gold backpack maybe even gibby could be a contender for the gold backpack but if you have one that first one should always go to lifeline y'all let me know how y'all feel about that down below in the comments so i have two more lifeline tips and tricks for you guys so if you guys are still watching this video i want to thank you guys and uh remind you guys to go ahead and hit the subscribe button you watch this whole video there's going to be tons more content just like this on this channel so go ahead smash the subscribe button and also ring that bell but our last two tips are going to be super helpful so here they go. Sometimes as lifeline, you're either in mid game or end game and you are in an area with no cover, no cover whatsoever. Now, a smart idea to create some cover for yourself, because, you know, at the end game, everybody likes to snipe before we got to get close and physical. You feel me? So if you have no cover, you are lacking cover. You can use your care package as an amazing choice for cover in some situations. So if you're dropping your care package, go ahead, see what loot's in there, but it can also provide excellent cover when you're in the middle of nowhere and there is no other place to get that cover. Now, the last and final tip to end this video is of course, if you are lifeline, you must be a team player. Sometimes being a lifeline, you have to be more than a team player. You got to be the best team player, okay? so. Being the best team player will ensure your victory and also the success of your team, but you always need to be near your teammates just in case you need to randomly revive them. Now, you can't really run too fast because Lifeline's really not a mobile character. So, you know, you're gonna have to run with some people that can actually be a little mobile. So the Wraiths, the valks the like anybody okay the octanes but you need to be close so if you have to res you are a few seconds away and you don't have to travel the map to find your teammates and res them as soon as possible but hopefully you guys enjoyed these lifeline tips and tricks on apex legends if you guys want more then please hit the subscribe button and also ring that bell tons more is coming out the last tips guide that we dropped was i believe mirage so if you want to watch the mirage one i'm gonna leave that in this in card screen so hopefully you guys go and enjoy that one as well new ones are coming soon all right so if you have any recommendations or you you want to just put something in the comments let me know which legend you want to see next and i will try my best to get that out as soon as possible but thank you guys for watching the video and i will see you all in the next one